Halfway across the world in northern India, another young officer was about to face a supreme test of courage in one of the hardest fought battles of the war. These are the famous hills around Kohima. You've read about them day by day in the press. Now these pictures bring you a vivid glimpse of what they're like to fight in. By 1944, Captain Jack Randall had been away from England for two years. Now he was about to take part in a gruelling battle against the Japanese at Kohima. I was born in December 42. My father went away in, I think, about June 42, not even knowing that I was on the way. And I think the ship got to about Cape Town when he was told I was on the way. So I think he was quite pleased about that. I've got two years' worth of letters written back to my mother. There's news of sort of me doing the various things that babies do at that, at that sort of age. My darling Maisie. Just another letter from your same husband, darling. There really is no news since I wrote the last one. But it seems silly not to write to one's wife when there is the chance to do so. I was very interested to hear how Junior had developed while you were away, darling Mavis. Your mama must have looked after him extremely efficiently for him to have got along so fast. It really was very sporting of her to offer to do it. Much more than I would ever do for our grandchildren. From what Murray's told me, Murray Pettit, oh, yeah. his friend, he's, he always said how disorganised Jack was and, yeah, almost a rubbish soldier, you know, <laughs> not a typical military man at all, and not someone you'd expect such a great act of heroism from. Give my love. To our son, darling. I do so wish I could see you both together. At least I know he is in very competent hands. We were brought up in just the way I would like if I were there. My love, darling, is girl. Jack. Ah! On May the 4th, Randall's battalion was ordered to attack. In heavy fighting over the following days, Jack was severely wounded, his knee shattered by shrapnel. At dawn on May the 6th, he led an attack on a Japanese bunker. Suddenly, his company came under heavy fire from another machine gun. Jack decided that to save his men, he must eliminate this new threat. He knew it was suicidally dangerous, but as his sergeant, Bert Fitt, wrote to Mavis, Your husband played a major part in the battle for Kahime. His actions saved the lives of many of his men. The definition of courage. Courage. Ooh, that's a hard one. I think it's something that happens at the moment and you know you've got to do it. There's no plan B. The idea of the whole thing was to hold the hill, to save our wounded and uh, do the job we've been trained to do as soldiers. Fight and fight and fight. You just can't bugger off, you know. When you're in a possible combat situation and things are really going tricky, all the stops are pulled out to, to help one of your colleagues. Um, like I say, it's not conscious thought I'm gonna be super brave and do something. There's obviously a bit of self-preservation with involved in that but it's your friends that you live with, that you socialise with, that you work with, that you've known for a number of years that are in trouble and need help. Carrying out an action 
uh, that is beyond the normal capacity uh, and that's when it becomes an action that's abnormal for a human being to do. So to do it, I'd say that is courage.